the idea of the piece came from uh, probably about two or three other pieces to this idea with Paula being uh, a member of a volunteer group with conservation of the red tail cockatoos, you know, giving of gifts of nature's beauty and bounty. Thanks for the uh, volunteers as well. We do appreciate that. Thank you. Nature, beauty, and her bounty. And this is sort of what I come up with. But an exotic face, all these flowers, landscapes, and animals, and bird life. So I threw it all in the mix and came up with this images of women with big hair. <laughs> more of uh, the elements of, let's say, like. Um, the sea, uh, rocks, there's rock, um, snow, uh, river, and just nature itself. I mean, bird life is amazing. Um, I love the bush. I'm a person that will go off practically every day and go for a good walk. And you see all this, this wildlife, and you see certain things like gum trees and the river itself, and it's just wonderful. It's really trippy and very zen, you know. You know so this is almost like a, a montage of like a diary form. And, uh, that's, that's practically what it's all about. It's, it's just the things that we see and we try and hold on to, and that's it. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, it's, uh, well, I think it's sort of a paradise kind of thing. Plus, to eat, and to eat. it's got some lovely birds and, and fish in the ocean. It's so, uh, quite bountiful. And, uh, yeah, and that's great to be here again on another year. My painting is called Made in Australia, with the beautiful waterfalls that you find up in the um, Kakadu and also in the Kimberley, Wedgetail Eagle, Mick Red Kangaroo taking a drink uh, from the girl's hand, floral symbols of different states of Australia, and the bush tucker. This is my um, niece, and I think she's beautiful, so I put her in the bucket. Um, this year I do a little bit differently in terms of the colour. It's a very simple theme, but it's very challenging. I try to paint anything from the mountain to the sea and something in between as well without making it too fuzzy and my approach is okay I have to have something to unify them together and I won't put a lot of color into it so I'll just use blue as a theme and that gives you a sense of peace and I like the sea scene as because it's got a feeling of calm skyscrapers and cityscape in there and a, a balance of our work nature the country life with the city life. I sort of wanted a Australiana Pachimama or Gaia. A superb lyrebird as a, a symbol of nature as well. It's got the most complex song out of any bird because it imitates other birds. It imitates kookaburra, cockatoo, uh, bellbirds. It also is starting to imitate the sounds of car alarms, uh, Phones, uh, chainsaws, human voices. Bounty can be taken two ways. And nature often, to me, has a bounty on its head. I wanted to convey that as probably a stark image. Sort of the globe in the background with the colour contrast going to, to somewhat a more warmer tone. <laughs> Feel the breeze, listen to the birds, I don't know, just try and absorb everything that's there for the taking if you're prepared to stop long enough. Beautiful vibrant colours, um, textures, smells, beautiful scenery, the incredible ecosystem, the clever little creatures in their systems that keep everything going. Some of the key components um, that I find significantly beautiful and very Australian given that's our home and um, just precious to us. And I'm grateful to nature and everything that she gives us, so I hope you enjoy the week and the artwork by everybody, they're beautiful, so I'd hate to be a judge. <laughs> <laughs>